We've covered the past two Petrov tanks here on my channel, and now it's finally time to get to the Elite tank. What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris, and here's a video on how to get the Petrov HS100 Elite easily in Far Cry 6. Elite tanks spawn easiest in Esperanza, but unlike the past two tanks, there isn't, or at least I haven't been able to find, a set spawn location for the Elite. So instead, we're going to use two bits of RNG to double our odds and seriously cut down the possible amount of time you could sink into looking for this tank. You'll want to head in front of Ventura Villa for the roundabout, where we'll be using both the RNG from random vehicle traffic spawns and Castillo's special forces that equally have a chance to come after you with a tank. While here, you want to draw heat to yourself by destroying military vehicles and fighting at the villa nearby. At the same time, while you're here, vehicles will spawn and drive through the roundabout, so you can use both forms of RNG at once. While you destroy new vehicles that drive in, you'll gain more heat, so either one will eventually lead you to an elite tank spawning in, whether or not it's through the special forces or through random vehicle RNG. Once the tank is spawned in, you need to disable it with an EMP in order to hijack it. This is the easiest part. Either use your bow with shock arrows, or use an EMP grenade or the Supremo, and then hijack the tank. Once you've got this done, then you're past the toughest part, and you just need to head back to a vehicle station to cop this tank permanently. Now there aren't many vehicle pickup stations in Esperanza, you really realistically need to capture an FMD base in order to get the easiest one, so you might need to head out of Esperanza to actually find a nearby FMD base or vehicle pickup station to drop this tank off at. When you're leaving Esperanza, you want to keep in mind that the Elite tank has the same weak spot as every other tank with its fuel drum at the back. So, if you've noticed that that's gone, then make sure that you hop out and just fix up your tank really quickly. If you're like me and you haven't cleared this checkpoint yet, then you don't need to worry. Luckily enough, tire spikes don't affect tank treads. Since the Elite tank has the highest reload speed, drive speed, and armor of all the tanks, nothing can really stop you as you head back to a vehicle station. Just make sure that you keep tabs on your fuel drum along the way. Once you've made it to a vehicle station, that's it! You're golden, and you can keep this tank for any time that you really feel it's needed. Now that we've covered the three military tanks, we'll be getting to the two resolver tanks. Then I'll be comparing them, so that will be a ton of fun! Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that, and hey, maybe consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. Cheers folks, and thank you very much for watching.